We love. Did you just compare my man Natachi to Elena? Come on, bro. Dude, we love. We I love, did, bro. We love making. Nah, Naruto not even black. close. Not even close, bro. They Come have on. an A in their names. Black hair. What more do you want? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like how because they're like Asian, how, right? Relax. I like how Naruto is like their our go-to show. Really, yeah. <laughs> really we love to compare Naruto to Blade Runner. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 10 of the spring 2020 season. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everybody. Next up, we have Ku. Hola. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Call me Mimi Siku. All right. And um, so for this week's uh, episode, we don't really have much to say for anime news, so we're just going to jump right into Tower of God. Uh, so ugh, I guess a lot a lot of things happen, and I'm trying to like, process th- through all. So I just wanna, I kind of want. There's other things we can talk about, but the first thing I want to get through is what it, what's everyone's reaction to Rachel, just like what she told Dom, basically. Oh, um, I, don't remember, I don't remember what she said. How but... she abandoned him for the greater good of the tower. You mean this okay. is when you, and then just this is when... down crying. See, this yep. is when you reverse it and just basically leave her behind now too. Well, that's what... Dead weight. Brian says created good, but she basically just told she basically like told Bomb you're useless. That's why I'm leaving you. And I mean, I wouldn't say she was useless. It's more like he was in her way of her goal. You know. <laughs> See, this sometimes is you 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 meet a wall and you choose two <laughs> different areas. Sometimes you make it past that wall. Other times it comes back to fall over. On is you. is that what you tell people when you reject them, Brian? <laughs> I mean, do I reject it, people though? So no. Geez. Brian, have you heard of some walls coming back to fall off? <laughs> yeah, the ones in Mario, dude. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But I mean, yeah. this this is when he gets to put, when he can uh, you know play it back though. You know, now he can say the exact same thing to her because she's useless. You know, I, I want to say paralyzed, dude. Yeah, she's a scrub, I'm but saying. you know, she abandoned him like we just mentioned. Um, and now, at least she's apologized for it, which is all you can really ask from that person. And she seems to be emotionally distraught by her decision making skills. And yeah, like someone, she's in a wheelchair now, so I'm, she done she done messed up pretty bad. Um, I, I'm on the fence about her. We'll see. She can still redeem herself, but she's teetering on the scum of the earth side. Dude, I'm still gotta... team t- 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 Dorsey. Dude, that's gotta feel so bad that you know that uh, Ho is the one that caused it. That that bitch has. Oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. I would not want any interaction with that guy. It's bro. What if it was all? What if it was all planned out? Like this is all a hoax. What if she's not really crippled? You know, that would uh, that'd be pretty worse. messed up. Yeah, Professor yeah, exactly. Xavier. What would he think? No, no, no. Professor Xavier had a different idea. Like you knew for sure he was legit. Rachel, though, mm, I still don't trust her character. What is There's she something? Gonna- Dude, she has yellow eyes. That other guy has yellow eyes too. Um, what's his name? Han Sung Yu. Yeah, but he's right. missing coffee, coffee, coffee turtle. Yeah, yeah, coffee turtle. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think there's some like blood relation there, and she's kind of used as a ploy in this whole thing. Uh, so I, you know, like who you're saying, I don't really trust her intuition either. Um, but. It's so hard to read this girl. One moment she's like, "I want to be in the tournament," and the next minute, I, "I want to protect you. I don't want you to be my side." Blah blah blah. That's why but, I just like endorse me. Straightforward. I'm gonna kill you. I'll murder you. I respect you. I do. I think the author is trying to um, he's he's trying to subvert that trope of like the female lead. Like usually it's like it's you know, the female lead is usually like a stronger character that like that you want to root for with the main character, but then like. In this one, he's just, I don't know, like, he's making her, like, like not as good. I don't know what the word is for it, but, like, so that that's what he decided to do for her character. And, like, and what we see now is just that, like, she's just really unlikable in the story now, so. I I don't think, I don't see her as really unlikable. It's more of, like, I just don't care I mean, really at all too, about but her. Like, mm. but, yeah, that, that... 
Sorry, I think that's a bigger problem than being un unlikable, right? Like, or uh, sorry, yeah, that's a bigger problem than being unlikable because when you love or hate someone, you'll still watch the show to be like, God, I just want to see you get punched in the face. I'm hoping <laughs> for that moment. But when you don't care, it's like mm, you've lost kind of a viewer in that sense. You've lost that intrigue. I think this is what's going to happen, right? Like, bomb. He should have showed up with a chainsaw. <laughs> and would, he, he should have like hugged her and be like hey it's okay i forgive you and then you just hear him rev up the chainsaw he's like if you lied to me girl i know <laughs> he starts cutting her body okay, in I, I don't know about that but if she could feel that then you know <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> you know they have one too because you know of, uh was it uh coon's coon's bag you know there's oh yeah there. you know that guy used to work at like menards or home depot <laughs> or yep shout out shout out I'm trying to think. I don't know if I have like really too much to really say. I mean, I don't really see. I don't know why they bothered with, um, you know, like how they show like the, I guess funeral for hope, but oh, yeah. then they just. I'll, I'll just say that too. Kind of... That felt like really like, what's the word? Like not like it didn't feel genuine. Like 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 especially the um, the regulars or the rankers. Like like when they attended, like so many people already died already like why did you come out to this one guy's funeral and then later on like yeah han saying like he just basically like choked the other guy with his shinsu and it's like yeah you just literally had a funeral like what are you doing now so that was really weird yeah i i i just thought that whole kind of scene was just kind of dumb because at one they're like trying to show some sort of emotion for ho when they really they did like a terrible job of just making us feel anything for the guy besides just like this guy just needs to die I will say I was, think. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I think it shows more Bomb's character because he's still willing to have a funeral for that guy, even though he just paralyzed his love interest. So, and then just a quick note: I, I thought the glass coffin look was actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I, floating up in the air, but the body just disappeared. Like, what? What happened? I feel like it was just the glass that got tinted. You know? It was it was glare, man. The sun's really strong. That oh, day. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. It's magic. Yep. So he's still there. We just can't see it because of the sun right now. Yeah, it's like a circle. So, so what happens at night then? Oh, there's the glare from the stars, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like David, that. you you had a commentario. Uh, I mean, I just want to mention too. I thought it was pretty cool that uh, Shimizu he gets like the the knife from the other girl who left. So hopefully. He steps up later, even though we don't. You know, he's not. He's not particularly oh, strong. Oh, that's right. So what knife? When uh, the Remember other the girl, girl... When, she, when she left, she gave him the knife. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the useless female. Right. Uh, yeah. So yeah. did she just? Ooh. So did she just straight up leave then? I, didn't even, I believe so. I didn't even yeah. do that. I thought I thought it was like a life or death thing. You had to commit, otherwise she just died. I didn't know you could just leave. So. I think she's committing, uh, but she's saying, "Here's this knife in case you know, like go, go do your well, thing." <laughs> did she did she pass the test? Because I guess this was like the the episode where it showed that everybody who passed the test, even though no. some of the people that they showed, dude, there's no way in hell they passed that test. She you was know, on like, she, know, bomb. She, she, was, she didn't pass the test. Well, she didn't. Okay, yeah. oh, she, she was on bomb's right, team, yeah. so I thought. That oh, did, but... how does she not pass it? But that green, that green dude does, dude. And dude. we can talk about that part now. Oh, great, oh, greatest guess. guy of all time, man. <laughs> that guy. You bring it right now. You want I was going to say that, yeah. that that scene where Kuhn and Rock put on that act to try to get everybody to be on Bond's team. And he's like, oh, yeah, guys, he needs to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and then a minute later, he's like, yeah, I was acting, too. <laughs> <laughs> that, I love that guy, man. That would be me every single day of the week. So uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat I, I think his character development. Is the best. I'm gonna repeat what Koo said last week. You're trash. Yeah, bro. You're trash, dude. Come on, bro. He's as Come bad, on. or he's either worse or as bad as Hole, in my opinion. Whoa, whoa. Those are very strong words, Koo. I need you to reconsider, okay? <laughs> no, I thought about it all week, bro. He's trash, oh, like you, dude. like you. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's messed up, man. Listen, just because he's green, that that's really messed up. You know, him and Oscar, they used to hang out. You know, living okay. in trash, man. It's like a disability. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, go ahead, Brian. I, I was, I was kind of confused, like, in the halfway through the episode where, like, Coffee Turtle met up with, like, Sheep Guy, and they had their interaction. I was so lost. I don't know if I was sleeping or what happened, but 
Oh, I was yeah, yeah. Confused. Like the one dude summoned like an eel monster, and then turtle got or coffee dude who came up with another sea monster thing. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So it turns character. out that guy worked for Jihad, and he he's probably like, doing the dirty work to make sure certain people get through, or that he can keep the tabs on people and try to kill them. Because they were referring to a conversation I want to say about bomb, and then you know what the hell's the name Han Song Yu? Yeah, that guy showed up and he's like, hey. I know about you. And that was, but he's like, what did he say? He's like, I want to help you. or I want to work with you Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think sheep guy was like, his objective was getting the two like weapons. Yeah. The green the marches yeah. or whatever. The oh black, yes. Black that's March what it was. Green Thank you. Yeah. Did this I mean, we know he's, he's going after, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Those two people, right? No, he's going after well, the I, green I, lizard. He has them yeah, both. Green lizard. Yeah. Yeah. Next death. Nah, nah, she ain't she ain't die anytime soon, bro. She's, she's, she's too strong. Yeah, yeah, we have we have a bunch of those random P, uh, characters like the green guy, like some of the other characters that somehow passed the test. Like, how did she not pass it? But then, like some of the people that haven't even gotten screen time passed, or oh, if they, hey, you know. it, was, it, was, it was bad screen time, like oh. the green guy, the useless guy. Yeah. Cause, cause whoa, 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 some, sir. Some sir, of them was like very harsh. Some words. of them was like positions too, like like they passed based on positions or something. Oh, uh, I'm not sure okay. about that. Like because it's again like the the end where they say like, oh hey, I want to take the administrative test. It's like another fucking test where you can sh- shortcut your way through the tower. It's like didn't we do this already? With like we tried doing it with the crown game, and now we're doing it again with like the administrative game and and like the the, the tag too. Like didn't we do all these tests to try shortcut to the tower? So. Well, you know, the best way to, you know, critique or judge someone is through tests, you know, okay. so why not, why not have as many tests as possible? That's right. The next one should be a cooking test. I think that'd be pretty good. Hell yeah. Wow. Like, like, a <laughs> yep. A little like filler episode. And they're all like the Chobi versions of each other. Like, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chibi. Chibi. That's a Chobi. <laughs> that's a Chobi, man. I was like. Is that my Chobi Chibi? <laughs> I was yeah, thinking about Chobi actually. That guy's my band. Well, that's what you said. Yeah, too. Got... But, yeah, I don't know. It's just like the, again, like the test. Like I, just, I don't like this. Or it's not being explained very well. So like, just I'm assuming the last three episodes are just like them doing the administrative t- or bomb doing the administrative test with like that the uh, the snake thing. So apparently he's the administrator of I think. Just of the floor. I don't think of the tower. So, yeah, just I think it's, it's just the floor. Yeah. Um. The for everybody listening, all our five viewers, I want to let you guys know the webtoon, aka the manga. Def. I've read the first two chapters, which just covers the first episode. It definitely gives you a lot more insight and makes things way more understandable, and as a result, interesting. So, going back and reading it, it's actually pretty. Pretty good to fill in these holes and these gaps that the anime leaves you with because you're like uh scratching your head at some of this stuff. Which is a shame. It's a shame that when anime always does that. So Yeah, yeah I mean, but I... I could see them running into pacing issues otherwise. Anyways, go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I mean No, but but like you mentioned, all like I did thought it was kind of slow and I thought they would take that pacing just to kind of explain how everything works or how the world functions. But I do hate how at this point we're still just being given like bits and pieces here and we're like forced to put the pieces together ourselves and if you're just enjoying the anime for what it is i, I think it's fine but if you want to dig more deep into it it's actually fairly annoying that i kind of have to read the anime and or read the webtoon and then watch the anime to fully understand it that's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff though but it, it just sounds like there's so much stuff in this sh- like in this show where i mean because like if if the chapters are like let's say like 100 pages long like that's so much to try to like to just condensed in the one episode um and it's like but it's, um i wouldn't say it's as bad as some of the shows though where it's like uh like um you know damachi where it just straight up cuts out arcs this one i think it's i don't think it's really cut out any arcs or at least i don't remember no. my sources saying anything no but it's like you could tell like the lore is very important in the show and when they cut out like yeah. stuff like that just like it feels like everything is important to know and like that's why like picking up the story for, from just the anime is very annoying. Yeah, because this show is really not heavy in too much action. It's definitely in yeah. lore. So it's, more, it's just like it's it, more annoying in this show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like the show needs to be longer. Like it, it's too bad. Like it, it wasn't given more than 
like if it was given like you know 24 26 episodes to at least go through all this i think it would have been much better i mean it would definitely like the pace i think would have been like i already feel some parts it just feels like kind of it being slow like how david you referenced before like we're still taking tests <laughs> and it, we're like so i just feel like even if it was slower they go more into the lore like god it would be even it'd be so much it'd be even more like so much slower but at least we kind of get like an understanding of what's going on hmm. yeah, or, i think the creator understand. of the show said he used to work at the dmv so he wanted to share that same experience with audience members oh, yeah with all the tests and forms that's what, hint, that's hint. what we all strive um, for yes all right well what about a big moment in the episode the letter what did you guys think about that reveal oh yeah i think i was wrong did anybody say the, like the blonde guy i guess we don't nope. actually know yet but it definitely no. seems like it's uh, him we all said coon except for i think david mentioned how it could be what's his name laurel as well no that was, yeah. that was strange. i guess the yeah, I said the sleeping. Oh, guy. oh yeah. just kidding, just kidding. I I said it. Okay, I said like I think it's someone else, but it was a cop up answer because I didn't know who else it would be. So I don't count that at all. Mm, very well. So, I mean, so, it works. So at this point, so, it's probably from Coffee Turtle or someone else that's above them. From what Coffee seems. Turtle sounds like, it, like yep. Coffee Guy. Yeah. So did they call him Coffee Turtle? Or are we just calling him Coffee Turtle? No, uh, Rock called him Coffee Turtle when That's he right. first came. Like, in the beginning of the episode, you, you see him in Chobi form, yeah. right? So then, um, <laughs> you're like, what happened to you? So he gave a flashback, and he called him Coffee Turtle when he first uh, came into contact with him. So. And then became oh, yeah, when he shrunk. Yep. Yep. Forgot about that he part. reminds me of that, uh, I don't know the character's name, but from Tekken, the little dinosaur with the skull. I know you're I talking about. Tiger. I know you're talking about, Ooh. but like I can't remember his name. Let me let me go find that out. You y'all talk amongst <laughs> yourselves for a second. Okay. I well, know. I mean, I don't know if it's... besides that, I didn't, I didn't really have much else to say. Yeah. Besides, like, yeah, just more tests. Like, like, let's get this over with. Like, gone. Well, I do think this is gonna be the final test, though, isn't it? <laughs> of the season. Oh, I'm sorry. Of this, of this season. This season, yeah. yeah. And yeah. hopefully, they actually start finally climbing the tower. Yeah, well, or I think at least like uh, of the last three episodes, these next two will probably be the test, and the last one will be kind of setting up for like you know everything else for the next arc and so on. You know the usual. That's yes, my yes, Brian, gone, 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 whatever he is. Yeah, the guy from Tekken. Tekken three. Yep. That's what's up. Yeah, oh. we'll see what happens. But I will say I'm slowly starting to dig the show more. I thought this last episode was intriguing because you see all the politics. Like I, I like the scene where. He was like, does anybody have anything to say? He's like, it's not fair, man. Come on. He's like, I need you to take a minute of this. Mm-hmm. So it reminded me of the, uh, remember the guy with the sniper? They did that earlier in the show. Who was like, why can't I pass through this wall? This is some BS. And he's like, how about you take some of this? Oh, that's so right. that's like some, some pretty extreme punishment going on. So I don't know. I feel like the show is starting to click for me after the last episode. And this episode was more intriguing. So it's uh, it's getting better, in my opinion. I, already, I, I mean, I already just... To this first season, I just I'm just passing off. It's just like the slow, just the slow burn. Like, like I'm just gonna trust everyone else and th- assume that the rest of the the series is good. Just like this first, you just gotta get through the first season. So, uh, yeah, about that. I don't want to wait one season to get into a show. I would yeah, like I to mean, get that's into fair. the show during the season. Yep, true that. But again, it's not like it's not like it's enjoyable. It's just it it leaves you to kind of wanting more. If you really care about the lore and trying to put the pieces together, like right now the plot seems to be fairly open ended. Kind of anything can go, especially when you guys mentioned earlier when Coffee Turtle and that sheep guy came with came together and they fought each other. It's like okay, well, like what is this supposed to mean? Like who's who is this? Like what were they part of the the cleansing core or the um? All yeah, right, I uh, God. The royal, yeah, some weird royal, royal something like, yeah, dude, yeah, some of the, yeah, yeah. Some so it's people. like, so like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, yeah. what is their job? <laughs> like, are they here for bomb or are they here for something else? Like, of course he says that he's after the the two the two relic weapons, or whatever. But uh, it's it's kind of like okay, this just came out of left field. Like, what was the okay. importance of this? We are being told royal enforcement unit. Oh, okay. Some yeah. of, some of the character designs in this show is just like, what the hell is going on? Jihad but, number six yeah, so we got, seven low PL Yeah, we got we got the sheep guy. Uh, and then just like some of the other characters where it just like 
where uh i don't know some of the character designs just like like it's just different let me just <laughs> stick with that but yeah, I, it, it, that sheep guy gave me major uh mattress i don't know which mattress company Serta. it is but the sheep with the blue eyes yep Serta. like Oh, there you go, Serta. Thank you. Yeah. Like, you're looking just like that thing. It's <laughs> not the matches you have, Stren. Do I wish? I actually heard you know good things about Serta. Okay. I actually don't know what I have. Maybe Temp Pedic. Like a, like ten plus years though. So it's a no longer a, you know Pedic. Don't worry about it. All right. Does anyone else okay. have anything else for the show? Um. Is anybody? Uh, Team Green anybody... Guy. Hop yeah. on while you God still damn, can. Trend. Is it just a bunch of cowards? Sasha, that's not me. Oh, Sasha. I meant to say Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm off today. That's so racist, David. Dude. Yeah. That, yeah. That's messed kind of, up. You, 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 serve, you serve, they're all the same. <laughs> hey, man. You know what they say? <laughs> they say, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for like a Serbian, like, saying something. Dude. Djokovic is our oh, national hero. I, they probably, they, they do say that part. Then. No <laughs> lie. Yeah. But I just want to say, I think Rachel's faking it. She's probably going to pull something out later on. And I'm still she waiting did. for the reappearance of the uh, of that one guy that passed the uh, the marksman test. Oh, the, the guy who disappeared. Oh, the kidney. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say yes, yes, the, the kidney. The kidney's going to make a reappearance soon. Like I, I would, I would hope so. You know. Yes. Rachel is a guy. She's wearing a wig. Or that, yeah, it, yeah, that makes sense. The real name's Raphael. Who who said, who <laughs> called her Raphael one time? <laughs> Oh, it's happening. Tune in next week. All right, oh, so God. that's that's gonna be it for this for Tower of God. We're gonna move on to Glatnir. Uh so this this episode, um, basically, I guess like because last week we were talking about how they got how they get out of this the situation they're in where they're just being trapped. I guess they got it out in like one episode. So yeah, both me and Ku are both wrong. Everybody's still alive except the one guy I was hoping that would die. Yes. Hey, at least he died. Oh, did he that, die? That I mean, totally worth it. I know. Like, yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, bro. he got strangled. Yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. This man as well betrayed his entire team, dude. I thought. Yeah. I thought, when that happened, I thought he was baiting at first, but then I saw like the 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 thing on the neck, and I was like, okay, yeah, he's probably dead then. Yeah. What a scrub. <laughs> yep. I'm glad because you know those characters usually just they outlive their welcome. Not that this guy was oh, ever God, welcome, yeah. but all of them like stay for way too long, and then their death doesn't even become satisfying because you're like. You were on the show for way too long. So I'm glad he was done. Um, the whole flower thing, I just found it odd how she had that flower in a Ziploc bag. Like, we're, like I like <laughs> Claire a lot. Weird, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you know, okay, Wildcard, you got to see. Unless, Dude, that's, yeah, that's how they roll. Unless they're going to say, like, oh, like, I, I was just thinking ahead just in case I need to use this. Yes. Uh, you know, you can't mess with anim anime logic. That's just how it is sometimes. So. Yeah, it's a far reach. Yep. But. You know, I'm I'm glad those guys all died. They got poisoned, and I like the fact that she was able to predict this guy was going to come back for his crewmates because you know he's the scum of the earth. And I like his story. He's a factory worker. He's a Japanese factory worker. And he's like, oh, I, I could never get along in society. I'm like, bro, man, maybe you should try a different job, man. But yeah, I mean, he's like, he's just one of those people like that. Yeah, I I I mean, where like you feel like. You're just trapped in your dead end job. I can see kind of where he's coming from, and he like, and again, I think they also live in a small town, so I don't think there's like any other jobs for, for him besides like, you know, the convenience store. So, so do we know if they're all actually dead though? I don't. I don't know. I want to. I'm gonna assume. I, yes. I don't want to assume anything because like, I feel like it was too easy. Like way too easy. I'm gonna assume yes as well. Because oh. the the way like the reason why I don't like like I think it's kind of cool how they're trying to give these like villains more like in depth stories right like he he's the boss leader he's he's a bad guy but he still cares about his his minions or his followers and then that's what did him in uh, although I think it's kind of weird how you're supposedly like a badass but you're still somewhat good like chaotic good I guess in D and D uh, but yeah that that's what did him in and I guess Claire saw through that so she knew that, that he would die. So that's what I'm thinking that he stayed behind trying to help everyone, but it was too late. Everyone's already dead, and he stood there too long, and he, the, the poison took over. Yeah, I mean, I can I can easily see the anime being like, oh, I just barely got out, like something like that, because being actually no, not, like a dead not body, in this, so not in this series. I don't think so. I can see like yeah. how all his followers are dead, and it's just him. 
or like mm. maybe two people, or the guy that's like uh, blindfolded, because I think that guy seems that seems guy like, seemed like he, he seems like the one that's most likely to live too. So yeah, yep. But I don't want. I, yeah, I, true. This means anime. True. I don't. Want, I never want to assume anyone's dead until you see like the dead I'm body. Sure it's so yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm curious to see. And Ku, that was a really good point because I feel like you know with a lot of shows, the bad guys are always just evil, but they don't really necessarily show the reasons why or ever show kindness. And I think in real life. We have a lot of bad people, but they're not like pure, pure evil. Like there's very few people that are either 100% good or 100% bad. So I do appreciate that aspect from the show where it's like, I told you guys last time I was expecting him to just like crush his fallen friend's head and be like, let's move on guys. But the fact that he was genuinely concerned about him is like, yeah, you guys are pieces of shit, but I still love you because I am one too. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's my mama. But... (laughs) (laughs) That's what you want to say about your mom? <laughs> not, not, not my mom. That was an old phrase I used to use back in the okay. day. You know? That's that's. It. Thanks, that for, thanks for clarifying. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, yeah. there's back in C Sam. Okay. C Sam, shout out. Back to the OG Family Guy days. Yep, OG Family Guy. Okay. Thank you, Fred, for understanding. I got you. I'm um, trying to. Think, okay, so. Uh, Oh, God. Anyways, uh, well, what do you think is going to happen now? Because they basically like, seen that they're you're all useless. Um, and in... the probably guys still got to try to go to the ship, even though they're pretty useless. Yeah. Dude, I still feel like I don't know how like a majority of these people are going to survive, though. It, it it just doesn't seem like it. it. It just seems like their whole crew is just so useless. Dude, even um even um, uh, Claire and uh. Shuichi. Wait, I'm Shuichi. Yeah. Like, yeah, even like them, like they, you know, basically like the gun, it did nothing. Got you know, they got it taken from them. And it's just like I don't know. There's got to be some kind of power up at some point for these guys. Or I don't know. I think it. Well, yeah. When they collide, that's what I'm waiting for, right? They previewed it with Rabbit Girl, and who cares about that? Right. But when they actually collide, I think that's going to be their saving grace. Do you think? Um, do you think it's going to happen just from? Um... It's probably just probably from just rage, or probably because someone has gotten the hundred coins, so they probably need to fight that guy or Elena's crew. I think yeah, Elena's crew's gotta find the hundred coin guy first, and then they just gotta fight, and then like Shuichi and them just got they're gonna walk in on them fighting. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if, if anything, I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Because at the end scene, Elena meets up with the uh, the alien guy again. Yeah. So I don't know if that's either a flashback or if that's something that's... I don't think that was a flashback. I think you're right. Because they showed Claire was like, I finally realized that my sister wasn't all corrupt. I think she was probably in a way forced to do what she's doing, which is why everything's happening the way it is. And I think you see it with Elena's reactions too throughout the show. She's not happy about any of this. And it seems like that monster has more of a control over her than she'd like to admit. So it feels like one of those, like, I need to do these things. Like Itachi, when he realized, hey, man, Sasuke, I'm going to have to murder everybody. I'm sorry, bro. But you're going to have to grow up hating me to get powerful enough to defend the world and keep things in balance. And I I feel like that's probably her her motto, too. Did you just compare my man Itachi to Elena? Come on, bro. Dude, we love, we I love, did, bro. We love making nah, not even close, not even close, bro. They have Come an on. A in their names, black hair. What more do you want? <laughs> wow, I like how because they're Asian, how, right? Relax. I like how Naruto is like their our go to show. Yeah, <laughs> we really love Naruto all too late, Nur. Maybe that's why we love Gillup Near so much. It just reminds us of our favorite anime well, show. The yeah. original, well, we, all favorite. the other ones, though, no, all the other ones were, were from uh. Um, Tower of God, though, because I think this is the first time we've dropped, um, like the Naruto uh, reference to yeah Naruto to um to Gleipnir. I think no. the, I'm pretty sure the other ones no. were Tower of God. No, we did it the other time too. But it was Tower of God because no, I was no, remember talking. I was talking about I was talking about the blue ball and uh, that uh that um that uh, oh yeah that, that, band was, that yeah. was one of many times, sir. One of many times. All right. That's the only one I remember. I don't remember. I remember we've done like other references. No clue what, like what it was about though. Um, True that. But I, yeah, I, I thought like this was gonna be the episode where you know it was gonna be a gigantic fight. They were all gonna die except uh, except Claire and uh, Shuichi. 
didn't happen. I still think though that somebody from that group is still alive. But like, I, if if everybody else died, I still think the bandana guy or the, the blindfold guy, the blindfold guy is going to be still alive. Um, and they're going to maybe have some sort of fight there. Um, I, I, I honestly can't see them doing any kind of major fight with any of like the two other crews because it just seems like there's no way they they'd, they'd make it. So hmm. I, I I would kind of go. I'm going to uh, back up with David to where it's just like the main thing that we're going to see is. Like Elena's team uh, fighting the hundred coin team, even though I don't think though that uh, that flashback that 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 uh, flash with the the vendor guy, vendor alien, whatever we, whatever we want to call him, I sure. think that's like I think that's like current time. Um, yeah, yeah, I think there there wasn't any like white fuzz above to indicate that it was above and below the screen or the shot to indicate that it was a flashback. So I'm pretty sure that was happening in current time so did her crew um, then just leave the mountain like did they just decided just not continue no i think they, i would I assume she there. stepped out on her own yeah i'm assuming like because her, her power she can like like teleport with like the black particles yeah that's true okay i'm just assuming because yeah. that, that's that, if it is present time like that's how it should get there fast enough then why would she even walk <laughs> what a waste of time because it's you tiring. Friend. Is it really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Plus, she has to look normal, right? Like somebody catches her on camera, dude. Her Instagram career is over. <laughs> how, yes. how they're gonna find her? She's just dust. Bro, bro, you, you never know. By the way, guys, I don't know if you know this, but I did some <laughs> digging around on Blindfold Guy. Turns out he's cousins with Stain from My Hero Academia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? yeah. Her say something completely different. You know yeah. that probably makes sense. I, I can totally see the resemblance. Yep. I, uh, Go ahead. I heard their family only had like one red blanket left, and Stain and his cousin were the only ones that left alive. And so they tore the blanket and wore it around their eyes. <laughs> and only one of them bothered to cut holes for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Stain had full use of his hands, whereas this guy didn't. They call him Immobile Timothy, but you know nobody calls it that. Japan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know that? Watch the first thing we're gonna see next week. The guy's moving his arms all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for guys. Immobile Timothy is showing up next episode. I'm calling it. I mean, he's showing up. I don't know if he's gonna be immobile. <laughs> Yo, man, you know, you know what I mean by showing up. <laughs> 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 Brian, again, thoughts again? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, not really. Oh, the 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 flower that plants a real plant. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you want to try playing some, Brian? No, it's very hey, let's try it out, guys. Humans. Whoever doesn't show up on the show next week, we knew, we, or we knew, we know. We know. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just, yep, uh, just gonna make sure to go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna end it right there. So. Yeah, I really got nothing else. All it's right. more of like uh, I don't either. I'm I'm down to watch more of the show though. I'm very curious. Almost to the I'm end. To like it. Yeah. Yeah. Sad times. <laughs> so, Sad times. Yeah, we're gonna end you're right there for Clapnir. Um we're just gonna move on next to Hami Um uh, so let's try in this this episode. He finally moved the plot forward. Yeah. We didn't no filler. It's just all story now. So Hold you man, villain, villain. You're talking about um the president? Because mm-hmm. okay, yeah, cause I don't know. Where we, I don't know if we said that last week or not, but like I wasn't surprised if he was the villain, like his route. I'm pretty sure we were hinting at it the whole time that like he's probably involved in some way. I think we pretty much knew, yeah. Okay, so like I'm sure we said some t- some time, but yeah, so it wasn't surprising. It's I guess that was like the explanation of why like things are still going the way of like the the, the normal game, even though like it hasn't been before. I don't know, like, when they, they first, like, when they had, like, the ending of the last episode where they had the setup where they were doing kind of, like, the same kind of, like, uh, you know, prompt to to Katarina where it was just like, oh, you're terrible, all this other stuff, but yet she didn't do any of that. So I thought, so I was thinking, like, oh, what if, what if it's, like, another twist where, like, somehow, like, it's, like, a checkpoint in the game where they're just, like, supposed to say this stuff and then it completely got it wrong. It was just, basically, it was just, like, uh, the the red, red-headed guy that just kind of set it up to make them to make them say it. And I was like a little disappointed with that. It got slightly dark though with uh, with like how you how you 
get dark magic. Oh yeah. With that you, was uh, you kind of weird when out. they revealed that because I was like, wow, yep. wow, like they never mentioned this at all. At any of this like like dark no. stuff in the show, it's like you, you put it on here now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Like, I don't know if it really even, fits, but okay. And that one drop too. I forgot the the the, the main blonde girl's name, but they're like, oh, and Rhea? just never saw her again. Yeah, Dude, we're just she's like the main they, character, Shren. It's okay, man. Katarina's main, the MC at this point. But when they, when they, they, when they and then when uh, she said like, "Oh, look, we never saw her again," I was just like, "Wait, what? Like, where the hell did this come from?" And then you find out that she's probably just like, uh, I guess you know, drugged, sleeping somewhere. I mean, because it seems like because uh, the one thing we found out, you know, dark magic doesn't affect light, which makes sense. Makes sense. Um, and then uh, so he basically had to do other ways and just you know. Uh, take the take the rag over the face and you know, <laughs> take her away. But um, they try yeah. they try to like kind of show a little sympathy. I don't know sympathy, but like just try to show a little bit in the president where Kevin was like, "Oh, why do you look so sad?" And it's like, yeah, yeah, they say that, but they still also reveal that like to use dark magic, you have to cue sacrifice someone. So I'm not sure how much sympathy yeah. you have to feel for this guy. I mean, if if they're trying to make us feel sympathies for this guy, it was planned. It was. It was a, uh, it was planned terribly. Like it's just like cause we don't even know anything about this guy. Like all we know is a dark magic. To get it, you have to kill somebody. Also, like the shift. And then we already... oh, yeah, go ahead. Which up? I was gonna say like, the shift too. When like when he's like his regular like super smiley face to then like go super like evil. It's just like yeah, it's not surprising, but just it still feels weird. Like the, the tone yeah, shift. Lame. Yeah, Katarina's like evil face looks so much better. Like it, when she has like the dirt face, and then immediately like when she goes like just like the just pulls the villainous face, it just looks intense. And then it just I, I just think it looks better. Also, is there any reason for this guy to hate Katarina? Has she done anything? <laughs> it's like he's supposed to be like a teacher, right? Like who the fuck cares? Like the probably guy says like, oh, what's the game that programmed him to do it, something like that. But yeah, like it's not. I don't see any good explanations why like. My like well, I mean, not right, Katarina. It's they say like in the the other ending, like the 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 hidden route. Like if you don't conquer him, he basically like kills the protagonist and all her friends. Yeah, pretty intense. So, uh, that's pretty that, intense so that's why that's why I mean like they're saying like they're gonna just say like all oh, it's just following the game. So yeah, yeah. So it's it's basically still yeah. It would make sense because now she's following in a she's following a route she knows nothing of. And now it's. I don't think she's really worried about her and herself anymore. I think she basically realizes she's in the clear finally, hopefully. And then now she's in stuck in the route that she has no clue where possibly everybody can die. So like, so I'm glad we're out of the filler, but like, this isn't much better for me. It's like just the whole dramatic thing just feels so out of place. Like a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Just very, like, just very, awesome. very, very. I mean, I know, I know, like. Yeah, later, like, visual novels usually do get more dramatic and dark, but, like, it just feels out of place and, like, not really the, the tone I'm looking for. Honestly, I mean, the show's supposed to be about like death flags, but I never took it as, like, serious at all. I thought it was just going to be just, just stupid comedy. Yeah. It's just you know, typical for, it, for Nisekai. And then all of a sudden they started dropping those things. It was like, oh, okay. I actually first didn't take it serious. And then you know, then you then you see like, oh, and just never saw her, you know, didn't see her again. It's just like, whoa, what? But and then you've learned dark magic, and then you're like, okay, how dark is this show actually going to go? And I, it's, I, I mean, I'm I'm more interested now, obviously, because it's not filler anymore. Um, it has some dark undertones. I don't think it's gonna go that dark though. But it's more of like this: the new character, the you know, the redheaded guy. No interest in his backstory. I just don't care. Same. It, but now, yeah, but now it's going to waste so much time going over this guy. But basically, the, the rest of the show is going to be about this guy now because it's just like, the only route that's well, possible. Yeah, but like, I wasn't expecting her to pick any other route anyway. So I figured, that's true. like, this is the outcome. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So do we think, though, this? do we think this route is more of like where she, where it's going to be like, this is like a like a romantic interest or do you think this is gonna be like a final boss must destroy or defeat for this kind of uh, type of show bro. usually even though like they kind of got a little dark it's usually it, they usually try to redeem the villain so they'll probably like either make him stop being evil or they'll probably like, cleanse him or something or like maybe maria can like cleanse him 
like he'll i think he'll still probably like be in the show and just he'll be like another another harm person like once they calm him down it's just gonna be another love interest yep and then it's gonna be okay and then so yeah. uh, any kind of guesses like why this guy hates katarina I don't think he, no, I don't think he hates Katarina. I think it's like I was saying before, it's just it's just the way the game is programmed. Like he's meant he's meant to go after like, like Maria and her friends, and and then it's just like I guess I guess Katarina by default she's just getting in the way. So yeah, I don't know. Next episode, it, like it's like I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm not because I just feel like it's going to be a lot about him, <laughs> and it's just going to be like trying to sympathize with him, and I just. I don't know. Unless it's it, 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 it'll depend on how they they pull this off because it's already they they poorly timed this, and it's just like oh god, like how much more are they gonna poorly plan for this as well? <laughs> um, like I guess like so she's trapped in the darkness. Um, do we know if she's just gonna get knocked out, or do we think she's just gonna be like stuck in like thoughts or like memories or something like that? And I don't just, know. Like, work she, her, way her her magic is really weak, so I don't know. I don't expect her to do <laughs> anything. <laughs> I expect her to be saved by like one, somebody else. Yeah, probably one of the guys. It's either one of the guys or Maria with her light magic. I don't expect her to do anything. So it's not gonna be one of those where she's just gonna be like in kind of like in like her own head or her thoughts or something, and then she has to like somehow. Or it's one of those where she has to find her way out. I mean, maybe, but out of the darkness. Or... But like, she's really weak, so it's hard to believe that that's what she would do. Unless she finds Maria, and then yeah. she can save. Then she can be but saved because Maria again, is supposed to be okay. Yeah, but then again, it's like Maria saving her. So, like. so I mean, at, at this point, it seems like that's a, what a lot of the show is because, like you said, Katarina. I mean, she she makes a bump. That's all she got. She, she makes a bump and she can garden. That's all she got. And then I so and, but the problem, like the thing is, like like light magic is supposed to be OP, and she gets taken out by a by a bottle with uh, the. The, incense. The sense, yeah, that <laughs> knocks her out. Yeah. 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 And it's just, so I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm still, I mean, I'm still wanting to watch the show. Like, it's still, like, it's at the end. We're fine. I don't believe we should finally be out of any filler shit. Unless, <laughs> That'd be unless so funny if that happens. Yeah. The, the only way I can see that it would go in back into filler is, like, they cover this arc and, like, the last episode is filler. And then, or, and then, look, which is, like, a brief period of, like, just, uh, um, you know, um, starting that, starting up like for the next arc, for the manga, because I I can't see the show getting another uh, second season. Yeah, no, I'm the same. I'm just gonna finish the show and then, and then just, just leave. I don't know, just not think about it, just because like I'm only watching this because there's nothing else to watch. Same. I should. I'm so, sure that's with a lot of other people, but I'm good for next week. All right. So we're in there for Hame Fura. Uh, where am I next to Kaguya Sama? Um, but I don't have much to say for this episode because I feel like it wasn't as good as like the last couple weeks. So, uh, yeah, I mean the last uh, the last segment was pretty funny. I thought but, the first uh... segment was pretty funny with with Eno and her imagination. Bro, Eno is so annoying. <laughs> like I thought she was gonna change. Like her character development was gonna be in a different route because of like what happened last uh, episode, right? I thought she was going to be more relaxed and uh, be more friendly towards the others. But then this episode, they just made her so cringy. Like, I I, I couldn't I, I couldn't watch it, to be honest. Like, I did appreciate the small cameos that they were doing with her. Um, but, it, like, the first segment was so cringy. I, I couldn't really watch <laughs> oh, it. I, I thought it was funny. Like, just her and her imagination going overboard, so... Although I did like the, uh, I think the funniest part was just the Charlie Brown. Oh, that, <laughs> that was really random. Like, yeah, that was really random. I think they're, I think they're going a lot of the uh, the cameos or Easter eggs. It was a bunch of like Western culture references. I, I, oh, I don't, I don't even, rec- I don't even remember Charlie Brown. I don't remember any other ones. Uh, yeah, I think the the music that was playing when she was having her weird movie like flashbacks or whatever. I, I, I want to say like the music was kind of a. Uh, was due to like some kind of like old school eighties uh, motivation <laughs> portion of movies. Um, oh, I thought the, I, think, I, I thought the whole scene was just like just a parody of like just just dramas in general. Like you know she's, she's trying hard to change society, and then these these two people are in her way, and she has to fight through it. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then like the first uh, flashback or segment that they had, uh, they made it seem like 
Kaguya sama and uh shirogane was actually like more of a prune as she was and then she was the one that was trying to like promote youth. that's why i thought it was funny because like because the irony i thought the irony was pretty funny so no nah, bro i, I, I can't Dude, that, 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 that part, i was laughing hard that first part like and then they kind of ruined Chica's character in, in that flashback, so I didn't really appreciate that. She <laughs> ruined, like she's, like, she's being the sympathetic. Like they, she's being the sympathetic best friend. And <laughs> no, they took away the like the airhead characteristics of Chica. Like well, they made her like completely serious. Yeah, because so that's what really... that's what Eno thinks of her. Yeah. Again, I don't know. It's it, it's weird. I I, I enjoyed I, the just the irony of the the first flashback. And then then the ridiculousness of the second one, where like. It, it made like like Kaguya seem like like a, a dominatrix towards everyone. Yeah, I thought that was pretty hot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, just I thought that first part was pretty funny. I I don't even remember what happened during the second segment. Like that's how forgettable that second segment was. Like, uh, well, to be fair, I think it was maybe. Oh no, uh, second segment was uh like the calming ritual, right? Because after the last episode, when they were stuck in the the gym locker together. Or the gym, oh, okay, yeah, and then uh, like going to the doctor. Uh, she thought that she had maybe like a heart condition, but it was just like love sickness. Yeah. Um, okay. So then, yeah, she was trying to like find like the I don't know what the word yeah, is the her, the, the, condi- her, the conditioning her. where like to calm her down, and then it goes into that the the two D fighter <laughs> screen, the, the Street Fighter animation. Yeah, yeah. It's, more, it's more like those anime fighters, like like Guilty Gear. So. Oh yeah, yeah, but. But yeah, like you said, it was, it was kind of forgettable. It was, it was funny, but I mean, to be honest, though, I feel like the last couple of episodes, I've I've been more fond of or enjoyed the the, the cameos or the East eggs more than the actual like content itself. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the last segment though, like with Ishigami just okay. supposedly joining the the cheerleading squad to, no. to maybe become a normie, but it's only normie. It's, okay, uh, it's, it's it's called cheerleading squad, but like the Japanese poetry is Oendon. It's like. It's like where like the like the guys have like, the the jackets whatever and like the headbands and they like, do like these loud like chantings like usually like during sports sports games like oh, okay. there was yeah. there was there was a DS game called like Oendon where like where the, the the English the game the English version was like Leap Beat Agents so like like that's where I know for Oendon from is from that that one DS rhythm game so but um during the part where he was in the club and like. He like he was saying, "Oh, this is the type of people who are trendy, who loves to say yay and like loves to like try, like you know, take pictures, take selfies, and post on Instagram." Man, I know so many of those people. <laughs> like, so I, I felt Ishigami's pain. Like I, like especially Asian people. I know so many Asian people just like that. Dude, fucking cringe, dude. I know. Oh so, my goodness. I know so many Asian people just like that. <laughs> and I kind of appreciate how they left the majority of them like faceless, faceless so you can yeah. kind of just. I don't know. I guess assimilate whatever you want with, with your, uh, like with your personal experience with cheerleading squads. I guess. Um, but I kind of felt like they're trying to hook him up with the uh, that one the, chick, the, that the came vice, over. the vice, vice president, I guess. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I thought maybe they're they're probably going to like. I don't know. Uh, I think she was just being friendly and trying to reach out to like the one guy who's like not involved. So. Uh. Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, but then the best part was. Was the fact that he went to Kaguya and then got her dress. And he was trying to, like, uh, when he was, like, dressing up, he was always talking about how, oh, man, I hope this doesn't waken something inside me. <laughs> Maybe something already woken inside. Yeah. <laughs> you felt bad for Kaguya when he was like, oh, like, this chest area is kind of tight, you know? I did some, I did sports in, like, junior high, so, like, my pecs are actually kind of, kind of bigger. But I hope I don't stretch out this chest area. I was like, damn, it feels bad, no, I mean, I knew that was gonna come just because they've always made fun of her chest yeah. size, so I, I could kind of tell that was coming. But um, yeah, I don't know. It was just like small things here and there. Yeah. Uh, the, it wasn't too memorable or uh, exciting, I guess. You can I kind of not looking forward. I think I think next week's episodes where they do the cheating stuff more into it. I'm kind of not looking. I'm not looking forward to that because like I don't think the, I don't think the humor is gonna gonna go well. Right, but I mean, I do appreciate it that they're giving Ishigami more screen time because I feel like they don't really develop him as much as a character. Even though, like, He's... I do want to say, I I uh, say relate to him more than all the other characters. So I just, just feel bad because he's like the punching bag of the cast. So hey, some people like me in a punching bag, you know. Oh, it's, it's okay. okay. 
<laughs> you're the one that you're one of the t those people that want to get dominated by Kaguya. Bro, like I said, that was probably the best thing about that segment that I had. I, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny, and I like I said, it it made her more enjoyable to watch. I guess like more likable. Her imagination form. <laughs> yeah, because then you no, know, honestly, it's it's kind of annoying how like she's always like screaming and has a high pitched voice. I guess. Uh, so having a, a more like sadistic tone and the, the look that she gives, I, I find that to be a little bit more I mean, attractive. That's, that's than... kind of the image she had in the first season. Right. See? So uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's just personal She's, she's just misunderstood. Nah, nah. She she, she also... She, I'm not going to say the word because of reasons, but okay. they're, they're just they're kids. They're just kids, so it's okay. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for Kaguya. So I, I don't have anything else to say for the show. So we're gonna move next to uh, Sing Yesterday for me. Cause... me. So, so we're at first this week's episode. Uh, again, more things happen with Riko and Shinako. Dude, I I'm actually kind of liking Shinako more as a character now. Oh really? Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I was starting to like uh, I don't know. It's not like the opposite. I was like I was more sympathetic to her towards like since the beginning but this part is just like i don't know it made me more annoyed like how again we keep bringing up but like oh was it like you're too nice is that why you can't be more aggressive like well you're the one like stopping him you're the one like that's saying you want to take it slow what do you want you know it's like no but then the way they're portraying ruko and the way that they're portraying shinako like i really enjoy it it's 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 very realistic i don't want to say right like as yeah. as a female uh it's their first love like actual love experience um and she's at least she's being more honest and she's being more willing to like take chances especially with Riku. Well, honest. Like, it just feels like she's leading him on all the times she keeps bringing him in like she like that the, i mean they finally get to her apartment but like that's such a, like a i don't know right but you have to understand that she's never done this before this is the first time and then as a a younger person who doesn't really have any experience with stuff like this it's not really her fault she's just trying to learn as she goes in a sense and then even she mentioned it herself like yeah. she's pretty sure that that ruko knew that there was she didn't mean anything by it it just tend to work out that way and then like towards the end ruko also mentioned that oh i know you don't mean anything by this you're just to be nice so i'm just gonna head out yes and then, but, but, but like it's one thing to admit it but that doesn't mean it makes it right and then also ruko's at fault too because like he also knows that like that she's having trouble with this and like he like if he's, I don't know, when he said, like, he's feeling awkward from, like, the detention of this, it's like, you should have known that yep. when you went into her apartment and you weren't going to do anything. You should have just left. Like, right. You no, so it's also on Ruko, yeah. right? Because, you know, he should know better. But uh, just the fact that she's, like, slowly, like, progressing towards the romantic levels with them. Because, to be honest, uh, I would imagine that everyone uh, doesn't want to be treated as a friend, right? As a, as a romantic interest, you'd want to be treated more special than that, right? And if they're constantly trying to be friends, you shouldn't expect anything more than that. Uh, but Recool made it kind of weird by by tensing up and then keep saying that, oh, this tension between us is, is too much for me, so I'm going to leave. Yeah. So like, I, don't, I wouldn't blame Shinako as much. I, you know, I'm going to partly blame Shinako just for, like, dragging this out. Like, But I guess, yeah, it should be on Recool. Like, this, he just... just go with Haru because this whole there's just so much baggage with Chinako the fact that like she already rejected him once and it's like taking forever and she still can't like can't I don't know draw a clear line between the two of them like so so speaking of Haru right like I'm I'm not liking how they're developing her character because they're making her too clingy like I get that that's kind of how they met and why they still have this like like friendship of theirs um as strong as it is because she's constantly trying to like make it work but i don't like how they're making her seem so weak and like needy so yeah i don't really like that as much which is like how you oh go ahead i'll just say like it is weird because like she was introduced as this like outgoing girl and now, yeah, now she looks super like needy so and also i mean like I've assumed people on the Reddit there are just like say like oh just because she's you know still like a teenager she's like nineteen whatever but still like no, I agree. Yeah, with I mean parts, in a sense yeah. it's kind of like 
like she's probably as emotionally developed as Shinako in a sense, as, except that they have two different personalities, right? Shinako's more more passive, and then Haru is more aggressive or more outgoing. Which is so. which is annoying because like, because I'm getting tired of like, of like Shinako, like like it just feels like she's leading on Riko, but it, but it just feels like she's so much more mature. So it feels like they're better together, but like, yeah, maybe it's just she is just more passive. But I don't know, like. It's just, it's just this episode like i'm just starting it i'm getting really tired of like just the tension between <laughs> riko and shinako like i should i should blame riko because yeah it is largely his fault for like it sh- i guess it should be his fault for for um just, just making it weird like just because like they just, i don't know he's, he's the one that wa- that wanted to draw the line between the two of them for like for after he got rejected, and he keeps going back to her, and then, like, yeah, I just don't like to be the situation. Fair, this, would, this, this would only happen in anime world, right? There's no way in hell after you, like, announce that you, you're you romantically interested in someone, would you ever get, like, a chance like this to ever pop up, right? So, yeah. again, this, this isn't realistic whatsoever, but given the fact that he's been given so many chances, and he's still taking a slow approach to it, I mean, I can respect that, right? Because he's trying to be a gentleman, he's a nice guy. Uh, that's probably why he's in this predicament in the first place. Um, but even given at the heat of the moment, he decided to just go along with it. Say, hey, I get that you're taking it slow. Let's take it slow. And then he just left it at that. Right? I thought he was going to go in for the kill. He just ended up giving her a hug, which which is really weird because you're already there. You might as well just go all the way. Right? Uh, maybe this is why Shinako was having second thoughts of like getting to a relationship with with him. But I think I saw uh, again. I think I saw just anime. In- anime and like japanese yeah. dramas in general it's like they always they're always scared to do like the kiss for some reason like like it's such a big deal for them like like that it's such a yeah. like it, it's like a huge moment in the relationship so mm-hmm. but i mean it is what it is i still find it purely entertaining uh i i don't know where it's gonna go from here because i thought those could be a little bit more uh more eventful i guess you can say um but so far it's been just very slow and steady pace and then Apparently, with the, the we have a new end end scene. We do. Um, yeah. So that's that's interesting. So what? It's been like what four episodes since uh, the last one aired. So I'm kind of interested to see why they swapped it out so early. But it looks like it's more of an upbeat, happy go lucky uh, uh, theme now, rather than what they had before. So like I I mean, I was enjoying like the slow and steady pace because I really. I really enjoyed it for the show, but I think I'm starting to like hit my limit of like, or mm. not not for the pace. I guess like just I don't know. Like I'm not liking where the relationships are going or how like dragged out it's being between like Rikuo and like Haru and Shinako. It's like it's getting to the point wrong, where bro. where it's like I don't know. It's like just just enjoy the journey, David. Just it doesn't have to be like Russian, you know, like. Have sex, get married, da 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 da. I'm not saying just, that. Just enjoy, just, enjoy the journey, sir. Just, I just enjoy the like, slow of the moments. I just feel like the last couple episodes, like the pacing, like it just hasn't been right for me. Like it's just. I would I would agree with you if it was only twelve episodes, but if there is eighteen or more, I, I think it's it's going at a good pace because I think the next two episodes is going to be pretty uh, pretty eventful, just because I guess there's like a burglar. Or uh, something's going to happen in, in Haru's situation. And with the phone call that he received, we don't know if it's from Haru or if it's from Shinako. But we do know that something is about to happen with, with Haru. So maybe instead of a white truck, right? Maybe Jeez. there was a thief and it turns out she got murdered, right? So yeah. who knows? I don't think so. That, <laughs> I would rather believe the truck than just getting around. What? This is Japan, man. Who's going to believe that you just get around and get stabbed in your house in Japan? Uh, it's also anime, so it's anything can go. <sighs> sure. Plus, we we need some, like you mentioned, we need some more excitement, right? We need something to be. I don't want excitement. Be, uh... I just like I want. I still like the way the relationships are going. Like, I mean, just because he's not with Haru doesn't mean they have to be disappointed and and say you hate the show now. So I didn't say that, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying that like Riku's decision making is starting to annoy me. So. I mean, I think that's what you would call it. His decision making, not or his indecisiveness on just dragging out, especially with Haru, like, and I guess like the way what they're doing Haru's character too, like making him make her clingy, even though like 
I guess like Riku would try to reject her. So. Yeah, but like I mentioned earlier, uh, the only one that I don't enjoy is Haru, just because I think it's a total opposite of what their character should have been. Um, so I think they're doing like a 180 with her. Like I would have absolutely loved it if, uh, say, they got up to this point, right, where Riku and Shinako was about to like get together, and then all of a sudden he gets he gets denied again by Shinako, and then he goes home. Haru's there, and when he brings her inside, he's like, hey, you know, like, I just got back from this place. You know, I realized that, you know, we're never going to work. Uh, how about we get together instead? And then, like, she denies him and just, like, gets up and leaves. I was hoping for something like that to occur, but uh, but with, with this being said, right, uh, Haru's character is kind of doing, like, a 180. She, she's being shown as, like, a needy, like, really weak female character, and uh, I don't know what they're planning to do, but I feel like the next couple episodes they're gonna build off of something. So we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Well, yeah, I'm I'm thinking more of like they're just dragging out like the drama. So I mean, it it is a drama show, so yeah, it's, but dra- it's okay. dragging it out. So we'll see. Mm. I'll also hope you enjoyed that uh, that Sega Genesis like Shining Force reference. <laughs> hell yeah i was like oh there the last century even though it's still a, actually it might be it might be late 90s maybe it's early 2000s by then i don't know i think they're still like it's all they well if it's still like 19 or whatever but yeah yeah i mean if if it's like a decade old or whatever as they referenced it uh it's probably early 2000s if that's what we're going off i don't with. think they age since like haru was 19 so i'm not exactly sure but i just just gotta mm. you gotta have your 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 old video game references. Mm. It's always a nice touch. Bro, sometimes, man, you gotta admit, like the old games, they just they just hit the spot. You know, you just you just can't like mess with the classics. So uh but yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Yeah, so we're in it for there. Um so that's gonna be it for this week's show. Just wanna thank the listeners for joining us this week. I don't think didn't feel like we said much this week, but we're heading close to the end, so Got- it's in a weird like, spot in a lot of shows where it's just like it's setting up for like the final like the kind of like the final arc for a lot of these seasons mm-hmm. so it just feels like it like it feels like there was a lot of stuff that happened but at the same time it didn't a lot, of, a lot of the shows like they, they they're not having a very like very dramatic ending it's like yeah. a lot of shows is just leading to the end so yeah yeah so it's it was a it was a weird week yeah so, so we'll we'll see how that next week goes. It getting, should be more. It should be more exciting. Getting close, getting close to the end, and then once we hit like early July, we'll start doing the preview for summer. And then got that look oh. forward to. So, uh, so how many episodes? How many like shows are, are returning in the the summer? July we had Re Zero, uh, Shokugeki. So, so of, the current, of the current ones we're watching, or what? Yeah, what we're watching. Uh, no, I don't no. think any of them so, are. Except your uh, your sing one, also, well, only because me, it's, it's eighteen yeah. episodes. Yeah, mm. I don't think any of the other ones. Yeah, they're not they're not airing in the summer. Yeah, I just hope more comes back because uh, life has been pretty boring. Wait, are you, talking, are you talking about the current? Or you, you talking about the current? The yeah, ones they, that are delayed or what? Yeah, the ones that are delayed and oh, then that, the ones that's that all, are, that's all I was saying. Yeah, like Re Zero, Shogunki, Sword Art, um, Snafu. Digimon. Digimon, yes. Right. So it would be nice to have all those come back, added on with the new seasons that were supposed to come out in summer originally, uh, unless they plan to push everything back to one season. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah, figure it out once the preview episode comes. So how things are now, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long season next season. So oh, well, yeah. it'll be fun. which by the way, I remember like, ReZero announcements on Thursday. So I guess I gotta announce like the date when it's supposed to air. So who cares? Who Jeez, cares? Trend. Bro. Bro, it's gonna be a bigger show this yeah. summer. Come on, Snaf- Snafu no, has their, their, uh, their start date. I'm ju- I'm perfectly fine. Really? You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna hype Rezero more than Snafu. Yes. Get the fuck, get out of here. You keep that up, <laughs> short. Doing is what it's the season, season of Ray Zero. It's not even ending, man. Snafu is this is the end. Nobody gives a shit about. Ugh, never mind. You mean everyone? Damn, Sean, you got pretty heated right there. <laughs> I don't. Right? I know, man. man. Must be the liquor. Going after my uh, Snafu. Oh yeah, my bunches of. I mean, also I love agitating strand as well. So there's that. 
Yeah, so, it is, it is a so yeah, that's that's the end of our show. So I want to thank the listener or thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. And yeah, mm-hmm. looking forward to the end of the season. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya podcast, week 10 of the uh, Anime Izakaya. God damn it, I messed up. Jesus. <laughs> okay, how about 18 minutes? 18 Holy. Minutes. You good? Spring 2020. Okay, I got it now. Three. You got it, Shinsu? I do that. I'll put this at the, the, at the after credits ending, David. Don't worry. <laughs> My God. I won't put it in the front. I can front. always trust you, Sren. I got you. I'm not a B star yet. <laughs> You're B triangle. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, let's let's get the show this week. Thanks for the show. Uh, that was it. Right, yep. guys, see you next week. I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> you send that to ten other people. Call it a virus. <laughs> <laughs>